what's going on YouTube on this channel we talk about a variety of different things mostly surrounding fashion style fragrance well-being and self-care hopefully you've taken a look around and checked out the content and decided that this is a place for you to be trust me, it is you won't want to miss anything I got coming up I want to make sure you like comment and of course subscribe hit the bell to make sure that you get notified of any and every time i post so that you stay in the know and stay up to speed today's mobile review is going to center around a dubai fragrance house that's been blowing my mind decided to roll with Versace's la yaquam brown la yaquam translates to irresistible and that's right up my alley <laughs> so it's a leather based fragrance and i didn't have many leather based fragrances in my collection so i want to give this a shot without much further ado let's spritz a little on let you know what i smell in the opening every single day i'm gonna make something great that's my way Fragrance came out in 2012. It's been out for a bit. I don't know much about the noses behind it, but this is a Dubai fragrance house. In the opening, I get a lot of saffron, <clears throat> which most times lends to a leather based fragrance. But it's a realistic leather. Legitimately smells like a leather jacket, like a couture leather jacket, like at a store. I was a little apprehensive to give this one a shot because when I think about it, who wants to smell like leather? It's only certain fragrances that I've gotten into that did leather really well. Chiefly, Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. Smelling that one, I was like, oh my God, I love it. But I've since then found other fragrances that do similar things. This one being one of them. This does remind me of Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. But the difference here is in Tom Ford's Ombre Leather, you get a little bit more of the fruitiness and then you get leather later. And then this one, you get a lot of the leather up front. This is one of the most long lasting fragrances in my collection. It hangs around 10 plus hours. I've worn it to bed and woke up with it still smelling pretty damn good. It lasts and settles on my skin really well too. So that's another thing. It's not a projection monster, but it projects. There's no slouch in performance at all, so off top, I gotta give it a 10 in performance. Have to. I believe it's right up there with a lot of the niche or higher end fragrance offerings. You, it's a quality scent, you get a lot for money. So, you really just get fruit and leather. Raspberry and leather in this one is, are the most notable notes. The opening, it takes a little bit of time for it to settle on my skin. I'm not the biggest fan of the opening, but I've gotten compliments on it before. Um, my guy told me that it was, it makes me smell more approachable. I wouldn't have guessed that. So, scent is very subjective, and so keep that in mind. Of what you like to smell on you, other people may not like to smell on you. Price, I paid $50 for this for a two and a half ounce. It's an older parfum concentration. The presentation is bananas too. I love the presentation on this one. It comes in a wooden box with a magnetic lid. Real, real fly. I love that. Brown frosted glass bottle. So for the price is going for now, I, I rate it about, I rate it at eight and a half. I don't think it's bad. Especially for the quality of the juice. Presentation, I rated it a nine. I really like that. I really like that. My only gripe is I don't, I don't love the cap because it's not secure. It's just a cap. You put it on, you can put it on, take it off. No snap. That's a snap on. It's not really snug. It's my only gripe. 
projection, I'm gonna rate it an eight in projection. It projects nicely, you know. Having it about right, right here, I can still, I can smell it slightly. And that's how I gauge projection. I put it on the front of my hand and kind of like wave it to see if I can get hints of it. It comes to life shortly after that. Like after me waving my hand right there, I get wafts of it. Like, okay, got it. So as far as performance goes, I rated the 10 of performance. It's a performer. Most fragrances I like and wear do not hang on my skin. This one does. This one has some lasting power. So I'm rated a 10 in performance. Projection, rated about it. I rated an eight in projection. It's not the biggest projector, but you're gonna smell it. Place, where would I wear this to? I think this is a really good date scent. I think it's a first date scent or a dating scent, one that I would wear out. Leather jacket, of course. Some type of jacket, I would kind of dress this one up. Not like suit and tie dress it up, but nicer jeans, boots, denim jacket, leather jacket, something like that. Something next level fly. You know, not my normal t-shirt and jeans kind of fly. Even though it would work for that, I feel like this one is just a little bit more the haute couture, just a bit for my taste, how I would try. This one's been touted as a dupe for Tom Ford's Tuscan leather. I've not smelled Tuscan leather in a very long time. And the sample that I did get from Macy's, I think I sprayed it off before I like, was really into fragrance. I don't know if I would say it's an exact dupe, but if, I will say this, I would get, I would get Rosace's La Yuquan Peron before I would pay the money for Tom Ford's Tuscan leather. And that's just being practical. I don't see the, need and paying $200 for a designer fragrance where I can get a similar vibe elsewhere I'm just not at that place where I'm I have to spend $200 on one fragrance I'm a collector and in order for me to do that you'd have to box me into a corner if I can find a similar vibe with that fits my needs and checks the boxes for me in terms of do I like the presentation, does it perform, etc. I don't have to pay $200 for one. It's on Hickory Dickory Dock. There's a lot of discussion going on about purists and you know that's the artist's the perfumers livelihood I totally understand that and Dubai fragrance house get a bad rap I'm not exactly sure why or UAE fragrance houses get a bad rap whether they're clone houses or not I feel like they put out in my experience I feel like they put out good products and if they're putting out good products and things that I want to purchase I'm gonna do just that I don't necessarily get caught up in the hype of oh, the name brand etc and I could be a label because I like what I like. And once I get to understand and learn what a designer is about, and then when I buy into the values that they have when they align with mine, I'm with it. And Tom Ford as a designer, I love him. Love Tom Ford as a designer, and I love most of his fragrances that I've smelled. Some of, have, some of them, though, have been disappointing and have poor performance on my skin. So, but with that being said, I'm not gung-ho to plop down $200 for a fragrance that don't even do its job. Now, certain fragrances I just had to have from Tom Ford, and that's it. I won't accept substitutions for them. So, great value. That's what. Not EDT. Not happening. That's like grown man. Anyway, place. I would say fallish winter would be the best time to wear this fragrance. This one actually made my leather list. So, it's leather centric, but it's very, it's very, it's done very well. All I really get is leather with a little hint of something sweet. I believe this one contains the note of raspberry. I have no complaints. That's rare for me because I could always, I always would like it to do something a little more. This one's a great performer. It lasts, it projects nicely. I like the packaging. 
All in all, if you guys have not tried La Yukon Prome by Versace, you're doing yourself a disservice. Pay yourself, don't play yourself. compliments off of this fragrance. Mostly for people I know. Not necessarily unsolicited compliments. So, take that with a grain of salt. Is it a cop or drop? Yeah, it's a cop for me. It's definitely a cop. I enjoy this fragrance. and I really feel like some those of us who are like mid, who are in the midst of the fragrance journey, I've been collecting for a couple of years now. If you don't have this fragrance in your collection or you're looking for a less expensive alternative to Tom Ford's Tuscan leather, that's quality. Like the Quan Peron. Man, it's nice. It's luxurious, you know. It's one of those fragrances that transports you, makes you kind of sit up straight and want to put on a nice leather jacket. Your good boots, you know, nice pair of jeans, some silver jewelry. I don't know, I love black clothing paired with silver jewelry. It looks so good, especially on me. It looks so good. And I don't wear a lot of black, but I'm getting into it. I'm later, I'm getting into it later. <laughs> I, if people rave over wearing black or all black, etc., I'm getting into it. It'll never replace how much I like to wear color, but I'm getting into it. Hours later. What's going on, on YouTube? Welcome back. I just wanted to update y'all on what my day has been like. It's been nine hours. It's been nine hours. And Rosasi La Yuquam is still on my skin. And it's still juking. <laughs> so I said that earlier, 10 on performance longevity, sillage, projection. Not a monster projector, but I've washed my hands three times today, sanitized twice, and I can't smell it. It's a wave right here, but I still smell traces of it on my skin. I am getting it in waves from underneath my clothes, underneath my t-shirt and on the back of my neck and whatnot when I move around. I can kind of, I can smell it still in the air when I move around. I can still smell it. So, this to me is one of the better performing fragrances in my collection. I have another one, Jasmine Wisp. It performs just as well. No complaints from me. None. So, I'm with the shit. Y'all looking for a more affordable version of Tom Ford's Tuscan leather? I ain't gonna tell you what to do. All I'm gonna say is alternatives are out there. If you're looking for something a little more affordable with better performance, longevity, whatever your gripes are, you got an option. So, again, it's been your man of common sense. I love you guys. I am out. Smell you soon.